GK Jain Schools a great way to start your child's early education Subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update Good evening children this is Padma from GK Jain Schools let us continue with integral calculus from 12th business facts in today's topic we are going to see about gamma integral its properties and sums related with the gamma integral let's move on to the topic now let us see what is called gamma integral first we'll see the definitions indefinite integral an integral function which is expressed without limits so if you are going to express integral functions without the limits so that will be called as indefinite integral whereas proper definite integral is something which has both limits a and b you can see the definition here proper definite integral proper definite integral means it is an integral function which has both the limits a and b uh, and they will be finite and the integrand f of x is continuous in that a and b you can see that integral 0 to 1 e power minus t dt so this is nothing but the proper definite integral where is the indefinite integral there is the previous definition an integral function which is expressed without the limits and containing an arbitrary constant is called indefinite integral example integral e power minus t dt there is without the limit means we will call it as indefinite integral it has no limits it has no um, uh, continuous limits whereas the proper definite integral means it will have an open point and end point okay now we'll move on to the improper definite integral an improper definite integral is an integral function in which the limits either a or b or both are infinite or the integrand f of x becomes infinite at some points of the interval a b that is uh, at some point of time no the function will become um, like infinite it will have the infinite value that is what they are trying to say either a or b either the upper limit or the lower limit or both will be infinite also or the integrand itself will become integrand itself will become finite also infinite also there is 0 to infinity e power minus t dt you can see the upper limit here the lower limit is 0 and the upper limit is infinity so which means obviously when you are applying the limit now one of the function will go as what it will go as infinite will not have any particular value for that so that is what they are trying to to say and the definition for n greater than 0 integral 0 to infinity x power n minus 1 e power minus x dx is known as the gamma function and it is denoted by gamma of n okay now note if n is a positive integer then integral 0 to infinity x power n e power minus a x dx is equal to n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 is the particular case of gamma integral this is very important formula this is what we will be applying in the sums now the properties gamma of n can be written as n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 where n is greater than 1 gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma n where n is greater than 0 and you have a do you know that is gamma of 1 is equal to 1 next gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial where n is a positive integer gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi so these four properties will be making use in the sums okay and gamma of 1 is 1 that also you have to remember and this is the exercise we are going to see now we will see the example as well as the exercise example 2.80 evaluate integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx so there are few more sums in this example i have taken this fourth subdivision so we know that gamma of n can be defined like this that is 0 to infinity t power n minus 1 e power minus t dt where we are going to compare this with a given expression and we are going to take the t as x square and i am going to take t as x square when i am differentiating dt will become 2x dx so this 2 will come in the front so 2x dx so i am going to substitute replace everything gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinity x square that is in the place of t i am substituting x square the whole power n minus 1 e power t is nothing but x square so minus x square and dt is nothing but 2x dx and 
see i can take this two i can multiply see we have this rule x power m the whole power n can be written as x power m n so now 2 into n 2 n 2 into minus 1 that is minus 2 and here also i am having a x so it is x power 1 2 dx now i can take this two outside common and then now i'll have 0 to infinity e power minus x square base are same powers can be added so it will be 2 n minus 2 plus 1 so i'll be getting it as x power 2 n minus 1 now after that i am going to take the value of n to be 1 by 2 because i have readily gamma value we saw in the properties gamma of 1 by a, 1 by 2 is nothing but root pi so i am going to take n value as 1 by 2 so what happens n wherever n is there i will replace it by 1 by 2 which is equal to twice integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square into x power see 2 into n is 1 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled minus 1 so 1 minus 1 is x power 0 so anything to the power 0 is 1 only so i will be having it as gamma 1 by 2 is equal to 2 integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx but we know that gamma of 1 by 2 is equal to root pi so i am going to substitute that so i will get the value as root pi is equal to twice integral 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx now i want the value for this expression alone that is 0 to infinity e power minus x square dx alone so i will take the 2 to the other side so the answer is root pi by 2 so this is how we have to do the sum now exercise 2.10 evaluate i have done from the third subdivision first two subdivision you can do it easily third subdivision integral 0 to infinity e power minus mx x power 6 dx so i am going to name this as i let i is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus mx x power 6 dx you remember we saw in the notes i have uh, given the notes also here that note also particular note also is there in the video itself you can go through it integral 0 to infinity x power n e power minus ax dx if we are having a gamma integral in this format you are having a expression uh, proper integral in this format we saw no definite integral you can write it as n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 so compare now compare this and this in the place of e power minus ax you are having e power minus mx so a is equal to m so i am writing it as a is equal to m and x power n you are having x power 6 so n is equal to 6 now substitute now when you are having this the formula is n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 so here it is n factorial this is 6 factorial that is 6 factorial divided by a power a is m so m power 6 plus 1 n plus 1 is 6 plus 1 so 6 factorial divided by m power 6 plus 1 is m power 7 so this is the answer if you want you can uh, expand this 6 factorial and write also okay now fourth subdivision integral 0 to infinity e power minus 4x x power 4 dx is equal to now i am going to name this as i so let i is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus 4x x power 4 dx and now i will compare it with the general term see you can see the general term here integral 0 to infinity x power n e power minus ax dx is equal to n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 now what is your a here a is 4 what is your n here n is also 4 so now substitute now so the formula is n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 there is 4 factorial divided by 4 power 4 plus 1 that is 4 factorial divided by 4 power 5 and what is 4 factorial children it is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 4 power 5 so you can cancel and the answer is i is equal to 3 by 138 so this is how you have to do now the fifth subdivision integral 0 to infinity e power minus x by 2 x power 5 dx so once again when i am going to compare it with the general term integral 0 to infinity x power n e power minus ax dx which is equal to n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 now what is my n here in the place of x power n i am having a x power 5 so n is equal to 5 and e power minus ax i am having minus x by 2 so a is equal to x by 2 that is in the place of x you are having 1 by 2 right so it will be 1 by 2 now you have to write the coefficient alone so n is equal to 1 by 5 a is equal to 1 by 2 substitute what is the formula the formula is n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 so 5 factorial divided by a is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 the whole power 5 plus 1 so you are getting it to be i is equal to 5 factorial divided by 1 by 2 the whole power 6 so it is nothing but 1 power 6 by 2 power 6 when i am going to take the denominator of the denominator to the numerator this becomes 5 factorial into 2 power 6 now the second sum if f of x is equal to x square e power minus 2x when x is greater than 0 and otherwise it becomes 0 then evaluate integral 0 to infinity f of x dx so our f of x is given to be like this now i have to find 0 to infinity f of x dx so just i will write my function along with the limits 
that is integral 0 to infinity f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to infinity what is my f of x x square e power minus 2 x dx now comparing with the general equation i am having n to be 2 a to be 2 now substitute 2 factorial divided by 2 power 2 plus 1 see can you see here it is n factorial divided by a power n plus 1 what is your a here compare no e power whatever given in the e power is compared to be a so e power minus a here a power minus 2x ax 2x minus minus so a is equal to 2 and what about n x power n so n is equal to 2 so 2 factorial divided by a power 2 plus 1 what is a power 2 plus 1 2 power 2 plus 1 is 2 cube so 2 divided by 2 factorial is nothing but 2 into 1 that is 2 2 divided by 2 into 2 into 2 2 2 cancel so 1 by 4 so the answer is 1 by 4 so this is how we have to do so we have completed this exercise now children so we have seen what is called gamma integral its properties example sums and exercise 2.10 is also completed so we will see in the next class thank you children